This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Google Docs has been around for a while now, and it's been my document sharing tool of choice. It's pretty easy to get around Google Docs because everything from sharing to editing, it's all there, but there are some really handy add-ons to give you some extra abilities. Now, first off is the Google Docs Notifier. This is a simple Windows add-on that notifies you of any kind of unread edits to existing documents in Google Docs. You download the program, log in, and I should mention, if you use two-factor authentication like I do, you'll need to add this program to your app-specific passwords in the security settings in your Google account. And it's going to show you all the documents that have been updated since you last logged into the program. It'll be minimized in your taskbar, and it'll show you a little pop-up bubble if anything is updated while the program is open. Also, if you hover over the icon, it'll give you a little bubble saying like nine unread documents or eight or whatever the number is. And you just double click on a document to open it in the browser. It's very simple. The next one is a tool called Knox. Basically, it's a notepad for Google Docs. From Knox, you can open up any documents that are on your Google Docs account, edit them, and then you can save them. You can also create new files and save them to your Google Docs as well, or load documents from your PC. Then, the next time you open your docs on your browser, you'll see the new edits and the files waiting in your list. The next one is called Send to Google Docs. Send to Google Docs is a Chrome extension that will save any website as a PDF and port it over to your Google Docs. This tool requires no extra authentication since it's already in Chrome, and to use it, you just browse over to a page that you want to save, you click Send to Google Docs, the icon, and then wait for it to convert, and then it'll give you the option to load it as a PDF and save it. I could think of a few really good uses for this program already. I'll have links to all of these different programs over in the show notes, but until then, I want to hear your feedback, so you can comment below or send me an email at feedback at hack5.org. Now, coming up soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first, let's take a quick break and then check in with Darren for the nibble. All right, let's get the show done. All right, let's get the show done. What? What? Stop copying me. Stop copying me. Um, what's mine? Oh, what's mine? I'm registering you can't copy this dot com. I'm registering you can't copy this dot com. Ha. Ha. Wait. <laughs> Not fair. What do you mean? Your Wi-Fi is faster than mine. It's the same chip. Mm. I even had time to use coupon code HACK5 and save 15% at domain.com. Oh. All right. So let's get the show done now. All right. Let's get the show done now. If you're setting up a website to show off pictures of your cat, start a new business, or annoy Shannon Morris, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain for your new idea. Their hassle-free checkout process makes it easy to find the perfect domain and get up and running in minutes. Whether you're looking for a .com or a suite.co, Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names and makes it simple to find the name that's right for you. Transfers to Domain.com are only $7.61, so bring your existing domain over and get an extra year free. Hack5 fans get 15% off domain purchases and transfers when they use the coupon code HAK5. Remember, when you think domain names, think domain.com. It's time once again for the nibble, and this week, Cy Home wrote in with this great little tip on how to exclude grep from your grep. Now get this, so if, for instance, you're doing PS aux to find a process, and we're grepping for, I'm going to say drop bear, I will see that there's a grep drop bear listed, and I don't really care about that because I just did that. So we could, of course, pipe that again to grep with a tac v grep, but then it gets really hairy, especially when you're trying to use, I don't know, like n grep, that tool. Anyway, he writes in and says, you can use this command instead, 
and you can you know substitute what letter you need to in the square brackets you'll see here in just a second so what we do is ps aux and then we pipe that to grep and then i'm looking for drop bear so i put the d in brackets and then the rest of the word and there we go i don't get the grep how great is that if you have more bash tips or any tips head over to hack5.org nibble let us know we'd love to hear from you guys